Hello. Hello, hello. It's me back in the jungle, live, doing a little evaluation of my orchids, my cat Leah specifically. Kind of did a look at my prosavolas. Well, the majority of them. They are basically cat Leahs as well. But I will look at those as well as some of my other cat layers and just evaluate their progress or lack of progress this growing season as uh, this is the primary season time when they are fertilized and uh, they're getting they're in their growth growth phase so Yeah, I have lots of, lots of cat layer types. Some that I've had for a short while and others that I've had for a few years. Some that I've unpotted and mounted. Others that I've unmount, unpotted and repotted. But I am going to try and especially go over those orchids that I've had in my collection for a minute. Kind of briefly talk about how they've done in the past for me and how they're doing now. I really, I guess I should start with in here because I do have two cat layers in here. Well, I have more actually, but hey, Jamie, good day kind of talking about my cat layers and giving kind of a little status report. But these two cat layer types right here, this is Brasavola perenni times chocolate drop. And it's got a new growth coming out here. And over this way, it's got buds on that end, which is good. Lots of nice roots with still some green tips. So it's doing fairly well in here. The, the, this plant is in here because chocolate drop, they're really susceptible, especially as they are maturing to rain getting down and rotting the plant. Same with my Lelia anseps right here. This is a species, although it's a cross. And it put up this new growth. And then I have two other new growths over here. One of them is kind of wonky. This one right here has a sheath that's got a spike coming out of it. Well, it will eventually push out of that. And this has the same problem as that one, whereas if it rains while, this, while it's developing, it will affect the growth where it will abort it or it will rot the growth. And that's my Lily Anceps that I'm gonna have to deal with at some point. That is a cross. Now moving out here, Hi there, Treehab. This is a cat layer that I got at the end of the season and it bloomed off of this growth. I unpotted it and then I mounted it on this mount. I mounted it in March of 2020. And you can see the roots are already attached to the mount. Well, that root is. I'm not sure there are any back here, but that's relatively quickly. It put up this new growth, and this new growth has a sheath. So that's really good. Um, this cat layer type right here, which is a Brasavola crossed with a cat layer. There is actually a name for it, and I keep forgetting the name. It might be. 
peach bird, something like that. But this is my Kai crossed with that cat Leia. And I later found out that that Herbert Arstrick Rake has a Bo Ranjana in it, cat Leia Bo Ranjana. Um, last year, this plant put up a lot of growths that had sheaths on them. But for some reason, well, I'll tell you what, one of the sheaths put forth blooms, but then somehow the blooms aborted and then none of the other sheaths came out. This year, let me see that one. I guess that one doesn't have a sheath, but there are, and maybe that one doesn't have a sheath, but there are some of, some of these new growths. It put up approximately five or six new growths and there are some sheaths in here somewhere. There's a sheath right there. So I'm really hoping to get some blooms. These usually bloom. Uh, should be pushing out their blooms pretty soon. Nice sort of pastel-y flower. And this is also gonna be due for a repot pretty soon on the next growths that push out. You can see most likely I'll divide it as well. That is a Cattleya type. And these get, um, this plant, it gets high light in the greenhouse. It hangs up high in there and uh, I take off my, my shade cloth. Um, so they get a lot of light in the winter time as opposed to a lot of light in the summer, but it's shaded light in the winter. I take off all of, they get more direct sun. If that makes any sense. Um, some of my brassavolas back here. This is my very temperamental, uh, what is this? This is that Miami, uh, North Miami BC, North Miami that has never bloomed for me and it's got a sheath on it. We'll see what happens. Um, of course, this cat Leia is doing pretty well can't really complain about my cat Liz, but I've already done my brassavolas back over here. Now this is a cat Liz that I've had for a few years and it has grown some, but last year it suffered from some scale and it took a lot of treatment. Hey Mick, took a lot of treatments to get the scale off. And then this winter it dealt with that cold. So it's just now making a re recover you can see how these growths have aborted in the past. Um, all of that in a year. Last year, it was putting up these new growths. So it is slowly but recovering. Hopefully these latest growths will, I think there might be another one. Yeah, there's one over there. Yes, I, I am keeping an active count. I actually have 550. That's how many orchids I have. 550. So this is another orchid that I just got earlier in the summer. This is that uh, seeing tango that I got all that I got uh, earlier this summer. It bloomed pretty much for the straight two two months. It was in flower, and it's continuing to put up new growths around the bottom. And while the plant was blooming, each of these new growths that would come up would bloom from the new growth. So I'm not expecting those to bloom immediately, but there is a lot of growth around the base. So we'll see back over here. This is a good thing. This is my, uh, one of my Guarianthe Arantiacas. No, maybe it's a Guatemalensis. Yeah, that's my Guatemalensis, which is that clone gene bomb. And it bloomed from a couple of new couple of growths, and it's put up this new growth, and it's got you can see those growths at the bottom. Looks like this one is brown, but it's still got those two those growths. And speak and on this Guatemalensis right here, which is the Alba one, which it bloomed off of these, it's put up these nice big new growths and there's another one back there so i think that's doing pretty good 
Here's another cattleya that it still needs a repot. You can see it's just placed inside of that clay pot. I've had this about a year and it put up this growth last year and it put up this growth this year, just this summer. Still has a lot of nice roots growing on down the pot. Looks like it might try to put up another growth, but we'll see. I'm gonna have to repot that for sure. For sure, here is another cattleya. I think so far, my cattleyas have done pretty well. Um, this one, even this one, I would say, because it is finally is recovering. This has gone through a lot. Um, but back over here, as I've said many times in some of my videos, that this is the latest growth with the sheath on it. This, it's never bloomed for me, but this is the strongest growth so far as you can see. So have high hopes for that. And back there that I'm not gonna pull out, that is also doing well. That's my Baptia grape wax. It doesn't have any sheaths, but the latest growths are definitely bigger than the previous ones. So I'm very happy. Um, this is another Lelia right here. It bloomed off of this growth, put up this new growth, and then there's a new growth, and it's putting up another new growth over there. So that's excellent, excellent. So this one is not doing so well. This is a Cattleya that I got at Hausermann's over the winter. It was sitting on that tray there, and this was getting constant drips from overhead plants, and that is what caused this plant to suffer. That is what caused that to suffer, just the constant dripping down. So hopefully that will dry out, and maybe I'll be able to salvage some of it. But it does look like down at the base. Yeah, see, it's just, it's just a weak weak plant so I you know fingers crossed but I just don't think so um, what else for cat layers now this cat layer is one that I got also at Hausermann's right before Christmas or right after Christmas and it is putting up that new growth over there. And it did put up that little puny growth there. This is my other Guatemalensis that bloomed late. It's got that new growth. Um, so yeah, things are going okay. I do wish that some of my little Brasavalas would do a little bit better. These crosses I always struggle with. The sun spots, of course spots. What should I, should have known, huh, spots. And I have some cattleyas back here. I did point this out in my Orchid of, Orchid of Day video. This is my highly coveted uh, daffodil. And you can see that's got, it's got three new growths coming and there's another one right there. Very nice. Um, yeah, this is a cattleya right here that's got couple new growths. That's a Suncoast one that I got. That's a Wolf Leopard. It's got that nice new growth. Then there's another one over there. This plant, I think, might be virus, so I'm kind of watching it. It put up a new growth somewhere, but I think that growth, no, this small little growth. And this plant, which is not virus, is maturing this sort of a wonky growth and then there's another one and then there's a new growth coming out of there so yeah my cat Liz are not doing bad at all and I was just watching Sharon's video uh, just before I went on live on this one and she showed her a Kito Sato and you know this one I just mounted on this this mount and I think that's a sheath. That's gotta be a sheath, that's not a leaf. Already, I mean, it just flowered for me. 
just like Sharon's did. So that's extra, extra exciting. Let me see, what cat layer types do I have? Now I know this right here, this is my Yang Kong that has those nice roots and there's a sheath right there. This is my other Guatemalensis that has those two nice new growths there, doing pretty well. This is my Boranjana, it's got that new growth there, but it's got a lot, a lot of growing to do to get up to where it last previously bloomed. And some of these other Guarianthes back there, it's got new growths tucked in there. And these are all recently repotted, the ones that are on this table. So, really, really happy with how it's going. I'm not really pleased with my chocolate drop here. It aborted its growth. But overall, this one especially, this Lely across, it's got that new growth that's in front of me. And then there's another new growth. And then there's, it's got, those are three new growths. And it has previously bloomed off of, and so these are nice sized new growths. So I should be getting blooms. So yeah, with the good, there's always bad though. Um, for instance, this is a cat layer that I had high hopes for. As you know, this was my Chinese beauty orchid queen started out with like with gangbusters took to the mount pretty well had roots all over the mount and then just overnight it just totally went downhill I have no idea why no idea why but that's the the other side of orchids that is part of the hobby and this is another somewhat of a rescue that has never bloomed for me though but I've hung on to it this is my Schomburgia Angelata that you know as I've said I've cleaned it up um, somewhat I've left these two canes but it's got those two nice growths coming out of it possibly that one as well so yeah oh and here's another cat layer that's doing pretty well that I cleaned up this was a very shaggy uh, Rincolalia glaca that was growing all the way around the side of the mount. Very difficult to water. Had a lot of dying canes that were desiccated on it. So I cleaned it up and lost the sheath. It did have a sheath on it. I guess that's it right there. But it's put up that new growth, that new growth, and you can see the roots. And there's another growth right in there that you can see. But it's, so it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Doing just fine. Just fine. So yeah, with the uh, good, there's bad, but there's a whole lot more good than bad. That's a good way to say it. And this is my Wainai Leopard crossed with Ketnor Why Not? That has, I've had issues in the past with just scale white fly growth blasting and this year looks like I'm having a lot better luck it just matured this growth and it's putting up that growth and these bloom relatively small so yeah this is blooming size so we'll see that's a nice thing let me see, what other cat layers am I leaving out? Oh, you know what, I need to mention this one. And this is one that bloomed for me last year so beautifully. This is my uh, Miss Mahler Fred Tompkins that is beautiful. Put up two new growths that, of course, it got water in the growths. There, it, one blasted, both of them blast. well, no, this is the other growth that came up this year. It did mature, but you can see the state that it's in. One of the, one of the, yeah, one half of the leaf is gone. 
Um, I'm going to, as soon as I see any roots or any growths, I'm going to get it out of this and repot it for sure because it definitely needs a repot. That is probably what the problem is because um, I don't want to lose that plant. That is a very fragrant, fragrant cattleya. Very nice cattleya. Here's another one that, that I mentioned in my past videos. This is my Sir Gerara um, Yucasaba. Yeah, it's the Rene Marquez crossed with uh, Patanara Eric something, Free Spirit. And it did bloom for me. And you can see it's got three new growths coming up in, in the plant. Very slow growing but it does have roots coming out around the base of the plant, so that's a good thing, very good thing. And a couple of other cat layers before I sign off is this one that's doing very well. You can see there's a new growth coming up through there. And this is cat layer rojo, which is a very vivid red. Nice size new growth there. And this one over here, this is, I believe, this is my LC Patricia. LC Fire Dance. Yeah, LC Fire Dance. And it's got a nice growth coming out over there. So hopefully, hopefully. Here's another one of my Guarianthes. It's already got sheaths on new growths. And there's one over there that's got a sheath on it right there. These plants will hold their sheaths all winter and then will push forth their blooms from the dried sheath at the top. This is Guarianthe, I believe it's Arantiaca. Yeah, the yellow Arantiaca. So yeah, that's a little, this is my Toshi Aoki that just bloomed. It's just kind of sitting there and waiting on it to put up a new growth so I can repot it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my cat layers. It's all significant. This one is putting up these two new growths, which are really nice. And that's my wedding, Hawaiian wedding song. That bloomed for me, but you can see it bloomed off of growths that were that big and these growths are that big so it's got a fair amount of ways to go it does and that's pretty much my cat layers that are updated my big standard cat layers I want to call them my hybrids the ones that are doing anything some of them aren't. This one back here, which I wish would, is just kind of sitting there. That's another chocolate drop hybrid. Very intense colored flower. And it bloomed last year, but it hasn't put up a new growth or anything yet. So yeah, that's about it. This is a pretty much a new acquisition, but it's a cat laying nonetheless. Forbes CI doing pretty good but yeah folks oh here's one more you'll remember this one this is one that I was that was a freebie that actually did bloom for me that I got from um, yeah high desert orchids and it bloomed off of this growth and has since put up this new growth. This is a new growth. And that's a new growth. So we will see. And that's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Same as that up there. But anyway, folks, that's pretty much my update for my live, what I wanted to show. As far as what, how my cat layers are doing this summer, during the growth season, I'd say they're doing pretty good. Maybe I would like a few more blooms, but a lot of mine have just been repotted. This was the year, <coughs> excuse me, the year that I repotted them. A lot of them are recovering. 
like my basavalas, you know, you know, how I had those issues. Um, but overall, I would give it a fairly, fairly high B, fairly high B. I choose uh, the growth and the progress over the blooms because with the roots come and the growths come and the blooms will come eventually. So very happy, I'm very happy. So thanks for watching this live. Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more, please give a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.